I'm back in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I'm in the amazing hidden village of Maid Kapong. And this is not my first time in this amazing village. This is actually my second time here in the span of two months. So there's got to be something about this village that would obviously pique my interest and make me want to come a second time. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys why I've come here a second time and really my true thoughts on this village here in Chiang Mai. So be sure to watch till the end of this video so you don't miss anything. Hey, my name is Joshua and if you're interested in more videos about me, a young 21 year old man traveling around Thailand and Asia, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss anything that I upload. Alrighty, to begin the story, I'm going to tell you guys that this hasn't been my first time here in Makerpong. It is actually my first time in this particular hotel, which is called The River at Makerpong. And yeah guys, I've gotten this accommodation completely for free including the, the dinner, the stay, and the food for the breakfast. And guys, let me just say, it was an amazing experience all the way through, from the amazing tent that we get to, to sleep in. And we have two beds because um, my sister and her friend um, also came along for the, the trip as well. And the people at this accommodation were just more than happy to take us all in. So I'm really appreciative of this um, place. It honestly kind of gives like a glamping kind of feel because you got a big tan and also cooking mukata. Mukata is like traditional Thai barbecue kind of thing, as you can see here. And we also have like a Thai spicy chili sauce, which is kind of sweet as well, the one of Sweden. And it's a really nice sauce, which I definitely recommend you guys to try mukata if you're out here in Chiang Mai. Previously, a month ago, I stayed at Wuma Kamu, which is a five-star luxury Japanese style hotel here in Meikopong as well. And that was also incredible and we had like a sauna and everything you need. We had a Game Boy, oh, it was like a Famicom. We had a Famicom, really everything you really need. And we also had an amazing Shabu Shabu over in that place, which was absolutely incredible. But with the river, you get a pretty similar experience as well. And it's actually more cheaper than Wu Ma Kamu, but definitely both great decisions if you're coming out here to make Kapong Village. So guys, let's talk about some travel. How do you actually get out here to make Kapong Village, right? So for us, we decided to rent a car, which is about 1,000 baht per day. That's right, 1,000 baht per day. And we're renting it about um, five days long because we wanted to go to Chiang Rai, Doi Tap, and multiple places out here in Chiang Mai. I'm kind of giving them a tour of Chiang Mai because, you know, what's not to love about Chiang Mai? I think Chiang Mai is definitely a must-visit place in Thailand. You got to see Bangkok, of course. You got to go to Phuket if you want to see the beaches and stuff like that. But I think Chiang Mai is just way less tourists, really nice and chill, just amazing vibes all year round. You cannot go wrong no matter what season you come to Chiang Mai, maybe besides the burning season, the burning season, I don't know about the burning season, but maybe don't go then. But guys, after April, I think Chiang Mai is an amazing destination to head to. And it's just a one-stop shop for everything you need. You could stay in the old town, you could stay in Niman, you could stay honestly anywhere, even in Chiang Rai, if you want to come up north and stay even at a cheaper place. Guys, if you thought Chiang Mai was cheap, guys, go to Chiang Rai, it gets even cheaper. It's insane. But yeah, here in Makapong Village, amazing things to do here. You guys can go to the actual main village itself. Taking the car is actually, I thought at first, um, taking the car would be a bit treacherous. I might damage a car or something, or might be a bit difficult to go up hills and stuff like that because I took my motorcycle the last month I went to make a pong, as you see here. And, you know, it was completely fun. I was riding with uh, another person in the back and there was not really any problems. The roads were quite thin, but we made it to make a pong village without any hassles. It only took about one hour. And guys, with the car rental, it was an amazing experience. We were, we were riding a Honda City, something like that, Honda City Turbo, she, right? <laughs> smooth experience you got the air conditioning going already once you start going north of Chiang Mai towards Makapong village the weather actually starts cooling down and it goes from 36 degrees to around about 27 maximum isn't that crazy right so I feel that the weather is really nice out here in Makapong village and that's another reason why I believe Makapong village is a must visit place here in Chiang Mai so after a one hour car drive from the center of Chiang Mai to Makapong Village, we make it to the River Hotel. Oh my, so many flies, man. And guys, 
we we can do the check in progress we're bringing our bags we're just in awe we're just looking at the nice river and stuff and we're walking on this amazing scenic area and these guys are from both my sister and her friend they're both from australia and they realize out of all the places in thailand that wow this is the kind of place that we wanted to see this is what they thought thailand would be like and we've been to phuket and don't get me wrong phuket's amazing as well and it's got its own beachy vibes especially if you do like the fifi island tour or just stay in fifi islands it's definitely something you guys should visit but even tourists from australia believe that chiang mai or even makapong village is the place to be because it gives you more of the traditional vibes it's very cozy there's no tourists around it's just you and your friends you guys just eating your mukata and your your videos of really aesthetically pleasing things and guys it's just nature it's just literally nature no tourists just you and your friends relaxing in nature what is there not to love right run you quickly through the cost of everything i put up some numbers here so you guys can see for accommodation um car rental as well and I, guys there's multiple ways to actually get to make upon you guys could do the shuttle bus um you could probably do a bolt <laughs> to make a pong it's only about 15 minutes away but there's various different ways but i say guys if you're in chiang mai make a pong village is just an amazing place to go to it's such a undiscovered area in thailand i feel like maybe online we think oh everyone's going to make a pong and stuff like that but actually it's the phuket it's the phiphi islands it's the bangkok we're all going to those places because we everyone knows it really popular big tourist kind of areas and what makes make a pong so special is the pricing the scenic nature the it's insane the, the experience that you get to have here in make a pong village and it's the reason why I've come here twice it's the only reason I've decided to come here twice because the experience for me has been just so honestly life changing because you cannot get an experience like this back in my home country in sydney for less than a hundred hundreds of dollars you'd be paying hundreds of dollars to to do glamping it's in such a nice place they have so nice staff the staff here are just amazing they're just cleaning up everything for you they fix up everything for you they're happy to help you whenever even though that they don't have um fluent english they're still going to they'll whip out google translate for you and get that sorted no matter whatever your needs there was a big ass moth in the toilet and my sister was like oh the moth is going to get us and it's going to kill us can you please go and take care of the moth for us and they're like of course and then they go to handle business and then boom completely done so yeah guys this has been the video about makeupong i hope you guys take the trip out here to makeupong cuz it's absolutely amazing and if you guys need any help or advice for your own thailand travels out to this amazing country be sure to click the link in the description right now so you get my one-on-one -on -one help that will change your life forever. So yeah, guys, click the link in the description so you don't miss out. Let's start your dream life here in Thailand right now. And as always, stay strong.